Hello and welcome to this uh, screencast. I would like to um, do a little programming just to capture how I do a project programming project. Um, as a project today I would like to do some text recognition of this text here. It's very low, re low resolution so the normal OCR programs are having a very tough time with it. Actually the letters are exactly matching so it's um, a very low resolution original digital document and I want to write a Haskell program to do text recognition on this. So I'm gonna start with a module and what I want to do is to write a function that takes a pixel area, so an image, and turns it into either a recognized text or nothing if there was no text to recognize. In order for this to compile, I um, define it as undefined. Undefined is the bottom value in ASCO, so it matches any, uh, any type. And so this means I can compile um, this document and lay out the data types and the data flow without writing any code. So this is a top-down data-driven programming. So let's see, I'm going to compile recognize HS and it says okay unknown constructors or unknown data types for pixel area and record text so I'm actually um, gonna define pixel data as itself basically. So I'm not worrying about the implementation or the data yet because I don't know what kind of data is going to be in there. There's going to be something there. Um, actually, um, record text, I want to be um, record text, I want to be lines of record characters. Oh, maybe I can do the same here for now and change that around later. So let's see if it compiles now. Pixel area. Let's see. And it compiles cleanly. Okay, so what do I want this to do? I basically what needs to happen here is I want to um, say I want to find the lines uh, in in the pixel area. So if we if we have a look over here, so and then I want to split out a line of text and work on recognizing that. So I will have to find the lines and then for each line I will have to, I would want to recognize the text in the line. So I will say recognize line and because I said it's either a rec text e either recognize text or nothing if it's for example an image so I'd have to return something of type maybe. Um, I'm not going to write that code right now, so I'm just going to assume that everything is text. And just put a return in here. Check if it compiles. OK, so I've defined two new functions. And these two new function functions I will now have to lay out the data types for. So let's set up a look. Recognize line is of type whatever type line find lines is. So let's start with this one. So find lines is of type pixel area and it will return a list of pixel areas again. Okay, so what this means is. that it takes this image here to the right and splits it into areas 
that we correspond to one line each. So, and now that find line up here returns a list of fixed areas, and we have a map working on it. Uh, recognize line has two because of the types. B of type pixel area and it's the return takes care of the maybe so this actually comes out as um, well it's actually not quite working yet so this comes out as a list and basic idea would be that it's of type record text So basically, basically what this means is that record test has to be a um, has to be a data or has to be of list type. So we're gonna say record text is a list is a list of list of characters and. We're gonna just change this here and say so this would then be so it turns a pixel area which which corresponds to a line into a list of recognized characters. So we're gonna add the undefined check again and it compiles so the types check out so what comes next basically to turn a pixel area into a list of characters what we need is a function that will take a pixel area try a couple of characters and then return the character that matches or, or skip uh, part of the pixel area and try again. So let's see, there's the function unfolder. And what it does is it takes a function and a starting value and it returns a list of elements. So that sounds pretty much what we need here. So let's import data list and folder. Yep, sounds pretty much like what we need here. So what I'm actually going to say is um, unfolder, we need a function. We start with pixel area and now we need a function and the function takes a pixel area and returns a record char and a new pixel area with the char skipped over. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I forgot to add a parameter here. Or rather, I can leave that out and make it in pointless style, and it pans out. Basically, what needs to happen here is that I'm going to match uh, for characters. So basically, there's two cases: either I have a proper match, or um, have no match and then have to skip um, part of the pixel area. So basically um, I say 
case recognize char so we have a pixel area here of and now there's two cases either I have a match then it's just the, the recognized char this is one case or I have nothing which means there's no match and this means I will have to skip one column so what I will actually want to do is start here at the beginning and um, then to try to match a character and if there's no match then I'll move one to the right one column to the right so that means I'm skipping one column so the whole thing is of type uh, record char so if no character was recognized then I want to skip one column now I'm actually going to add uh, this to the data type up here so I'm either um, recognizing a character or I'm uh, I'm skipping a number of, of columns most of them that's probably one column so this is actually skipping one and this is just the recognized character okay I actually want to return a maybe record char pixel area as we can see up here so basically I want to say the recognized character and then I want to say I want to skip the width of the recognized character so I need to do something here and the same on this end this is the character that was recognized so to speak and okay so now we need a couple of things in the data type basically a recognized character needs to have a, a width so I know how many pixels the character took up let's return that um, as part of recognized char so I'm going to return the character and I'm returning the width of the character that I consumed as you can see I'm already getting a bit fuzzy about this but things are still fine here so um, now I want to um, skip a couple of columns namely width columns of the pixel area Okay, so there's a couple of things that I need to take care of here. So basically, this maybe data type is used by unfolder. And what unfolder does here is that it continues until this becomes nothing. So basically, when the pixel, emptier, uh, pixel area is empty, then this should return nothing. So what we might want to do here is to say if the pixel area is empty then this is nothing. Otherwise 